I'm dripping junket. How are you all doing? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews, Team No Steep. We need to give a special shout out to uh, Crazy Captain Don and Elvis Dave. How are you brothers? I've done this especially for you and for anybody else that buys pre-made dripper coils, whether they buy them from me or not, and they want to see how I fit them and set them up. Um, dead dead easy. You'll need a few simple tools. What I'll do, we'll get deep down and dirty in the close-up. I'll show you what I use, I'll show you how I do it, and then we'll come back up and have a vape on it, yeah? See you in a minute. Okay, so here's a few things that we're going to need. Obviously, we're going to need uh, a dripper. I'm using the old faithful tugboat, version 1 here. Great for flavour, not bad for clouds. Uh, I'd recommend that you get an ohms checker if you've not got one, just to be safe. Screwdriver, pliers wire cutters, just the usual. Some wicker material, I like my uh, Japanese cotton, not compulsory. A pair of scissors to cut that with. A mod, in this case I'm using my Siggy 100. Uh, and of course the coils themselves. Now, I'm using these Tiger coils. This is how we send them out. So you've got a longer leg, one side than the other. Plenty to work out and they're based on a two and a half mil core so you, you want a two and a half mil bit to fit them in there with really it makes it a lot lot easier um that's the other one obviously so let's get on with it what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount the deck in my ohms meter i'd normally do it straight in the atty and if you're going to do it in the atty turn it off or if you're using your mechanical make sure that you've got it locked off yeah so, nice and simple. Longest leg goes through first. Nice and simple. Yeah. And the shortest leg. Not always easy to do on camera. And we'll give it a little bend up and that will send the ends up a little bit so they clear the deck, yeah? And we'll get it about where we want it. It's not got to be perfect at this stage. Take your pliers. Give them loose ends a little tug. Just to snug it up on the screwdriver, so you've not got any loose bits. Okay, now we're going to get the screws in there, tighten them down. Nice and simple. One screw in one side, tighten them down. Yeah. Do the screw in the other side, in the centre post there, the positive post, tighten them down. beans now give them an air cut we'll trim off those loose ends like right, so make sure that you don't leave any bits in the deck if you've got really short little tails that you're cutting off sometimes you get a little spare bit drop down and you don't want that shorting out when you're using it we're just going to set the coil in place so we're going to pull the screwdriver away from the two contact posts just to tighten the the windings up a little further and we're going to push over to the center because I want this to sit pretty central yeah so it's towards us and across and now we'll take him out and that's not too sharp check the resistance we've got 0 0.64 0 0.63 I would expect that to be about 0 0.6 so that's not too shabby yeah obviously if you're using two coils and not one you're going to off that so you're going to get down to 0.3, which is what we stipulate they're around that when we sell them. So fit a pair of them, you'll have a 0.3 built. I'm going to stick the other screw in there because we don't want to lose him. Yeah. Now we're ready to uh, pull, some, pull some pinch. So we'll put him on his atty, uh, on the mod. Yeah, we know that it's good. 0.6 is not going to do any damage to any of the equipment that we're using. And... I'm going to turn it down. Please bear with it. It's that bright in here that I can't really see the screen. So we're going to turn him down to 35 watts, which should give us, bear with, 35 watts, 
on that build just over 4 volts. I'll go a little bit lower. I'm going to go down to 30 watts for you guys out there that have more sensible devices. That's 4 volts. So if you're on a mech mod, that's your fresh battery. Yeah. Now we're pulsing. So we're hitting the fire button. See how the coil's starting to glow. And we're going to take those pliers from earlier. We're going to hit the button, coils glow, let go. And gently now, give it a little squeeze. Let go. Same again. Yeah. A little squeeze. Don't want to crush that coil. Now what we're looking for is that glowing nicely from the centre out. Which it's just starting to do now. We'll check those connections because we've got it nice and hot. So it's allowed it to settle and it might just... Yeah, there you go. thing with Tiger Wire, you can always nip it up just a little bit. Give it another go. Job's a good one. Now we'll wick it up. I'm just going to move the camera up a little bit so don't get dizzy now. Mm. There we go. So what I like to do when I wick, see if I can bodge this in place for you. There you go. It's kind of alright. Is I get my Japanese cotton. Like so. Yeah? Comes in a pad like that. Tear that pad in half. Thereabouts. And you've got much fluffiness in the centre. So we can tear a little strip off. Guesstimate that it's going to fit down the middle of that two and a half mil core. It looks a little bit fat to me, so we can pinch a little bit off, look. And we'll roll it just one way, like we're rolling a cigarette. I often do this on the leg of my trousers, as some of you will know. So we're still nice and fluffy, still lovely and soft, but we're making it round. Yeah? Now we'll grab one end and we'll roll it. And that'll give us a little pointer poke through the coil which is not always the easiest task there you go pull in lovely that's just firming up now see it tugging a little bit go back a bit try again yeah good to go now what I've been doing lately is leaving this end just pulling it through so that that ends about how I like it oh on the camera Trim that off, about there, and then tucking him in. So we'll get a pointy thing, in this case the scissors, yeah. Tuck that end in there, nice and tight. Take that end and tuck him underneath the middle of the coil, in there like that. And that, my dears, is just how I like to do it. So it's all nice and neat and tucked in. I've got all of the coil exposed, and he's ready for a drip. So we'll take this e liquid, we'll squeeze some on the coil itself. Don't worry about the cotton on the ends too much. Yeah, now we'll just give it a little pulse, and that'll draw. That heat liquid in. Yeah. Now we can fill it properly. So give it a real, real good soaking. And what I do now is burn it and burn it and burn it. And just let it use most of that up. And what that does, again, if the camera will pick it up, it fluffs up. See how the cotton now is, I don't know if you'll see it, but it's like nice and wispy and it's got little drops of juice hanging in them wispy bits, which is just what we want. Now we know that when we're dripping that, that capillary action will draw all of the juice in right where we want it on the coil. Yeah, so that is dead easy. Good to go. We'll go back up top and we'll have a vape on it. Okay, so... As we showed earlier, we're back up top, 
I'm just going to juice this up a little bit more. There it goes, look. She's a chicken. Yep. Yeah. I'll drop cap, uh, top cap on. Another top tip you might not know. Make sure that your air holes line up with your coil. You don't want to be sucking on a bit where your coil's not. You'll get horrible dry hits and nasty tastes and all sorts of stuff, yeah. So, give it a blast. Oh, there you go. There's nothing wrong with that. That is full on flavour. I like my single coils. I usually use a dual coil in my Mac mods. Um, for the old variables, it's nice to get that, that single coil in there and really get a nice full flavoured vape. Um, obviously, if you like your dual coils, just do what I did, but do the same on the other side. And again, obviously, it doesn't have to be Tiger coils, any of your coils, even your own coils. You don't need to buy pre-mades. I just wanted to share how I fit and set up coils. Um, for those of you that are either buying pre-mades or you're just getting into making your own and you wanted to see how I did it. So, have a good one and enjoy. And remember people, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? Big love everyone.